first guest, T.S. Madison, <laughs> is on fire right now. She's an actress, a TV and social media breakout star, a musician, you said it right, Woo! a producer, <laughs> and a major voice in transgender activism. In fact, over this summer, Rolling Stone magazine featured a story on T.S. Madison when she spoke up for the transgender community after a series of negative viral conversations. In that article, she said, transphobia affects all women, cis women and trans women, and we have to put an end to it. <laughs> We're gonna talk about it all and so much more, but first, get to know T.S. Madison. She's the viral sensation who rules the internet with over one million followers on social media. Actress, host, and social media maven, T.S. Madison is winning. Out Magazine calls her a performer to admire, honoring her as a top entertainer on their annual Out 100 list. Yes, honey, give me all that, give me all that. Then in 2021, she made history becoming the first black trans woman to executive produce and star in her own reality show. T.S. Madison kicked off the year in a big way, becoming a regular judge on the highly rated reality competition series, RuPaul's Drag Race. T.S. Madison, or Maddie, to the fans that love her so much, delights those who follow her with her online talk show, Maddie in the Morning, where she boldly and freely speaks her mind. Oh, Tamara Hall is the T. As an LGBT activist, T.S. Madison is unapologetic and raw in her support of the transgender community. All of the anger, all of the separation, and all of the division is misplaced. Today, T.S. Madison is freer than ever and here to share her truth. I love it, TFM! Please welcome to our show, T.S. Madison! I often wake up in the morning and I log onto my social media and I say, now what has she gotten into this morning? Well, you already <laughs> well, know. Yeah. You know what I give, uh, Tamara. Well, what you've gotten into is a great amount of success. Congratulations on the fact that Cozy, which you are sampled in, mm -hmm. is, of course, a song about pride and confidence. Mm -hmm. It has now surpassed 100 million streams <laughs> on Spotify alone. Alone. Yes. Ching, 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 ching. <laughs> You've been at the concert, yes. your Renaissance tour, the yes. tour just wrapped up. Mm -hmm. You are a part of this movement in this moment. Yes, yes, I am. How did you process this? Uh, every day I get up, I'm like, okay, Madison, what's going to happen today? And then it just happens. Yeah, um, yeah it just happens. <laughs> uh, and, you know, Beyonce is a world... Ph phenomenal. Phenomena. Like nobody I in the world is like I told people that this is not a concert, this is an experience. An experience. It's not, it's, it's, it, they should create a new word for it. But she recognizes this experience would not have happened without people like you. Yes, yes. Like you. Yes, yes. And, and here's the thing. What I love about Beyonce is that Beyonce said that all of us inspired her yeah. to create this Renaissance album. And, and here's the thing. When I first got the call, I was like, who? <laughs> <laughs> How much money they got? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Because you've learned to stand your ground, yes. even when a big star calls, because a lot of people would get glossy-eyed. You were like, no, no, I'm a business person, yes. and this is about business. I want to read a quote that you said in the Los Angeles LGBT Center. You said, we fight so hard to be quote unquote mainstream mm -hmm. and to be superstars mm -hmm. to people who sometimes don't care anything about us. Nothing. It feels so good to be a superstar in my own world and care about the people who look up to me. That's right. Yes. And then for someone like Beyonce to process that and then, you know, send that out into the world, you know, she reaches a mass amount of people and to hear my voice elevated and the message in my voice and the message that I was displaying in that rant that I did, changing the world, and it has everybody of all shades of black, dark brown, dark skin, <laughs> light skin, beige, fluorescent beige, honey. <laughs> I'm black. You know? 
And even the non-black folks are screaming out that they're black. Absolutely. You know, because they understand the power in just being in accepting yourself yeah. and accepting who you are. And Beyonce did that. I, I love. I, I, where's the camera? I can look at Beyonce. <laughs> Very. <laughs> Which one is my She camera? might be resting now after that oh, tour, no, but she, go ahead. No, listen, Beyonce, I told y'all a long time ago, Beyonce, watch me. <laughs> I told y'all this. Beyonce, I want to tell you, I love you so immensely. I love oh. you so much for taking my voice and meshing it with yours and giving pride to mm -hmm. our community and the communities that's adjacent to it and to yeah. black people, brown people all over the world. I love you for oh, that forever. So Um, and that... thank you for the, the money. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to take you back, though, to this Instagram post that I saw. It was July of last year. You captioned it, time makes a lot of difference. Time makes a lot of difference. You... And I'm not talking about the picture. I'm talking about the understanding and the journey. Mm. And we talked about being yourself comes at a cost. People have attacked you. Always. People have. I actually, I don't slide into many DMs, but I slid into your DMs. Always. And I said, you can't shoulder this all because I wanted you to breathe because I felt like there was a moment where you, somebody told me, if you keep punching brick walls, your hands get bloody. Yes. And people needed you to be healthy mentally to represent the community. Yes. And that was my worry when I reached out to you. But as you said in this caption, time makes a lot of difference. It does. It does. And when I look at that picture and I look at both of those pictures, you know, um, I, I wouldn't have never thought that time would have did this, but I know time was going to do something. You know, I've always had a vision that I was going to be a star. Um, and I know that there are people out there in the audience right now and in the television space watching the vision yeah. is going on while you know, you're young, but you have to not just see it, you have to expound on it. And I didn't know how I was going to do it. I just got up and started doing it. And that's the thing. With you and your journey, you've made, as they say, a way out of no way. Mm -hmm. Because I, I, I love underdogs. Some people like to run away from the term underdog. I'm like, I love an underdog because you're bet against to bet on yourself. Yes. And that's what you've done. Mm -hmm. And I love this evolution from T.S. Madison to Maddie. Yeah.